Welcome to this new color grading tutorial. In this one, we're doing the cool blue style without any LUTs or presets. And I'm using Color Grading 3, the clip, if you want to follow along in the course. If you look up here in the vector scope graph, you can see the colors being pushed from yellow and red over to the blue, which is exactly what we're going for. Now, why are we gonna do this? We're creating a more moody look, a cooler look, maybe trying to make it look like it's a different time of day, but more importantly, it's a style, so we're just making it a little bit moodier. So we're making things cooler, but we're also darkening up different aspects and areas of our video as well. So to start out, I'm just going to have my color grading clip. I'm gonna actually delete this adjustment layer the base clip is pretty good, so we're just going to start from here with a new adjustment layer. So from here, with this adjustment layer selected and our Lumetri color panel open, like we saw before in the warm and bright tutorial, you can just take your temperature slider and just push it down and you start to automatically get a warm, sort of a cooler look. But it's applying this specific temperature adjustment to everything and I don't think it looks as good as what we have here with our specific adjustment. So what I do is just a basic adjustment first and I'm just gonna make everything a little bit cooler but not too much. Then I'm gonna go specifically into my curves tab. So here we're gonna do a lot of adjustments with hue versus saturation. So what this is doing is we're taking specific colors or hues and increasing or decreasing the saturation. So what I'm actually going to do is take and set a point around all of my blues and actually bring it down. We're actually desaturating this part of the film first, our, our video. Then I'm actually going to combat this by setting a point here sort of around our skin tones and bring it up just a little bit. I don't wanna lose all of our skin tone and our yellow yet right now. And you can see what this is doing before and after. Very subtle adjustment. Next, what I can do is make this specific color a little bit darker as well. So, or these colors darker. So I'm gonna take my everything again around my blues and bring that down. So we're making those a little bit darker. So this is more of the exposure and the overall saturation that I like. That's what we've done so far. Next, we want to add more of that cool color to these specific exposures. And we do that with color wheels and match. Here we can take the specific shadows that we now have because we've adjusted our hue versus saturation and or our hue versus luma rather and now we have more in our shadows that we want to affect and add blue to with this adjustment with our midtone we can bring that down just ever so slightly and then we're going to bring our highlights and bring those make those a little bit more yellow and warm too now with these sliders on the left, we can actually bring down the exposure even more of these specific tones. Our mid-tones we're gonna bring down, shadows we're gonna bring down, giving it even more of that moody look. And we can turn this on and off and you can really see what we've done. If you wanna add more blue, just drag this color slider or this color wheel out to the blue even more. You gotta be careful with it though because if you go a little too far, everything starts to get that color. So you can balance it with the highlights kind of, but there's a point where it gets too much. So be careful with that. So this is where I ended up with my original grade. Another thing you can do is with the curves, if we go up to RGB curves, you can go up to the blue curve and you can just make this, boost this up. You can take everything boosted up or you can take specific parts. So I'm gonna bring this up down here in the shadows, which is the bottom left of this, graph and then maybe bring back down the curve in the mids and there we've added even more blue to those shadows i think that's a little bit too much for my taste but i just wanted to show you that in case you were interested in it you'd also take the other colors red 
and green and bring those down, which actually gives everything else even more of a green or a, a blue tint rather. So now we're getting a little bit dark, a little bit funky. So that's not my preference for doing it, but I just wanted to show you another option for how to get that, that those colors. If there's specific areas of, or types of colors you wanna make a different type of blue, maybe this is a little bit too purple, a little bit too teal or green for you, we can select our blues. So let's just take the eyedropper, let's just select this ground area, which gives us three points on this graph, which is a good mid midpoint. And I'm just gonna extend it just slightly something like that and then we could take our hue and we could actually adjust the hue we can make it a little bit more purple a little bit more green which makes it a little bit more teal that's not really what we're looking for though just another thing to know about okay i'm going to turn that off because i don't need that i don't want that and now we have a pretty cool cool and moody look if we want to really make this a little bit more moody, maybe a vignette might add something too. Let's put the midpoint super far in, increase that feathering. Something like that. Looking pretty darn cool. And cool and blue. All right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you in another one.